Proverbs. Hey there, friends. I am in the mood to make a tank, so I have renamed my project Tank, and I am grabbing a cube, dropping it in the center, and I'm not really worried about 3D printing it. I'm just making it for fun. I'm going to make it 40 by 60 millimeters, and I am going to keep the uh, standard uh, 20 millimeters that it is tall. I am going to pick a color that is kind of tank green. I've got it lined up decent on the project, and now I am going to add some armor to the front. I'm going to use the sweet work plane tool to connect it to the front, and I'm going to stick a roof there. The nice thing about the roof, I want to rotate it. I'm going to just type my number, rotate it 90 degrees, and line it up so it matches. And boom, I have just created some armor plating for my little tank. Or, I'm going to call it armor plating, even if it's not. I'm going to take those two pieces, I'm going to select them, and I'm going to group them. I'm going to press W to shut off the work plane, and I'm ready to add a turret. I'm going to do the turret with a half sphere. When I bring my half sphere out, I'm going to stretch it to whatever size I feel is cool. I'm going to make it a bit wider, make it a bit taller. Missed on that click, let's try again. Make it a bit taller. I'm going to go eh, 13 millimeters needs to be green so that it lines up. I'm gonna grab it, select it, align it, and I want it to be aligned on the center and the center. And I'm actually gonna nudge it back. Uh, so I'm using the arrow keys because I like that for a better way to line it up. All right, this is gonna be super quick and super fun. I am not trying for anything I can print. I just want to make a sweet tank. So right now, I'm gonna add the sweet cannon. I'm gonna add the cannon with a tube. When you grab the tube and bring it in, I'm going to hold down shift and shrink it until it is uh, nine millimeters thick. I like the wall of two and a half millimeters. That is awesome. And I'm going to just stretch it up to 35 millimeters. That's a decent length in my mind for a cannon. You can do whatever size you want. I think I am going to actually hold shift and shrink it just a little bit down to seven. And then I'm going to make it even a little longer. I'm going to go all the way to 40. I'm going to make it green, just like the other halves. And um, when I bring it into the project, I'm going to select everything. I'm going to do a line, and I want it centered. And then with it centered, I'm going to pull it up. And then I'm going to rotate it. I'll zoom out so you can see me grab that. So that it's at the angle that I want it. And now I can push it down in and then move it forward to the length that I think it should be. It's nice and connected. It's centered. It looks pretty sweet. Once again, it's fast and it's fun. Let's add some tracks to our cool little tank. I'm going to press W to put the work plane to the side. And I'm going to come back to our good friend, the tube. I'm going to set the tube where I want it to start. I'm going to stretch it out. I'm going to make its wall thickness only 1.5. Uh, so that it's nice and thin. I'm going to make my tracks black. And then I want uh, cylinders inside here to act like the wheels. Uh, you could use tubes or something else, but cylinders what I feel like. I'm going to use the same trick of holding shift and shrinking that down to a size that feels good to me. I'm going to push them in just a couple millimeters. I'm going to make them black. I'm going to do control D and slide it back a little bit. I want to make sure it's touching so that it looks cooler. I'm going to do them all the way through just for fun. And then typically, if I remember right when I've seen tanks, these are smaller in the back. So I'm going to hold down shift and make one just a little bit smaller. I do want to pull them out to the uh, same length as the other. So I'm going to try and line those up pretty good. And then I also want to make a small wheel up above. So I'm going to do Control D. And I'm going to put one up here. I need to shrink it as well. So I'm going to hold down Shift and shrink that. I was accidentally on Cap Lock. So I'll do Undo. And then I'll do it again. I like that. And I'm going to do Control D one more time. And I'm going to move that one over here. All right. Quick, dirty, simple, fun. 
I'm going to select all of those and I'm going to group them. I'm going to do control D to duplicate and I'm going to move them over with the arrow keys. To do that I need to press W to set the work plane to normal and now I can just slide them across until I have my tank on both sides. So much room for you to grow and make yours cooler than this. Uh, I hope you have fun, add all the cool things you want. Make sure you share how epic your design is. And uh, once again, this is just a cool way for you to start building a cool tank. I missed one of these little things here. Uh, you can go back and fix that though. I'm sure you have those skills by now with all the cool things that I've showed you. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Unicorn Zombie Apocalypse.